Hello everyone, welcome to automation community. Today in this video, we are going to discuss an example which will be about automated curtain control. So let's uh, look at the example first. Automated curtain control. When the open button is pressed, the curtain should open and remain open for 30 seconds before closing automatically. If open button is pressed again, the curtains will remain open for 30 seconds more. So for this example, we will use normally open contacts as well as normally closed contacts. We will be also using some memory bits and timers like TP and T1. So let's move to TI portal where we will draw a ladder diagram for this automated curtain control example. This is the interface of TI Portal version 16. Firstly, we will go to PLC Tags, Default Tag Table. So here we need to add our inputs and outputs. So firstly, we have an input that is Start button. And then we have an output that will be an actuator that opens and closes a curtain. So let's say curtain. And then I will go to program blocks and then main OB1. So here we will be drawing ladder diagram. So firstly, I will insert a normally open contact and a coil. This normally open contact will be a start button. And this coil will be for a memory bit, let's say M0.0. And then I will latch it here as we are using this normally button as push button. So we will latch it here. So I will open the branch, add a normally open contact and then close. So this coil, this normally open contact will be M0.0. And then we'll insert one more normally open contact in another rung and then a normally closed contact and then a coil. So this normally open contact will be M0.0 and this normally closed contact will be start button. That means when start button is released, then M0.1 will be true and this M0.1 will be latched here. I will open the branch at a normally open contact and then close a branch like this. So this will be M0.1. And after that, we'll use this M0.1 here. For the second press and release, this will be M0.1. And then this will be a normally open contact for a start button. That means when second time the start button is pressed, then another memory bit gets on. And this will be M0.2. And we will add it here at a normally open contact. Sorry, I will open the branch at a normally open contact and then close. So this will be M0.2. And after that, this M0.2 will be used to turn on the curtains to uh, open the curtains for another 30 seconds. So, firstly, we will use this. M3 and M4 that is uh, we'll use network 4 here and then we will use this M1 here and a coil so this will be M0.1 and then this coil will be M0.3 and this M0.3 will be turned on for only 30 seconds so we'll use a timer operation TP here And this will be 30 second. And again, this M0.2 will be used here. M0.2 will be used here as normally open contact. M0.2. And then we'll use another coil for another memory bit. That will be M0.4. 
and this m0.4 will be turned on for 30 seconds so we'll insert a tp here and this tp will be 30 seconds And then we'll use this uh, M0.3 and M0.4 as normally open contacts and I will connect these two memory bits as normally open contacts in parallel with each other and then I will insert a coil. So this will be M0.3 and this will be M0.4 and the coil will be for curtains. And then M0.3 will be used here as normally close contact M0.3. After that, we will start the simulation. Okay. Click on load and then finish. After that, I will start the CPU and then start simulation. And then I will switch to project view. Here we need to create a new project. I will create a new project. Enter. After that, I will go to simulation table, simulation table 1, right click here and click on load project tax. So as you can see here, when I turn on start button and then pre uh, release it, curtains turns on. That means this M0.0 gets through and this M0.0 gets through and start button is released and M0.1 gets through and when this M0.1 gets to, M0.3 gets true for 30 seconds and which in turn will open the curtains. And then, and then if uh, one more times the start button is pressed and then released, curtains again open and it remain open for another 30 seconds as you can see here this m0.44 gets true because this m0.2 was true uh, because this m0.1 was true that means this m0.1 uh, stores the data that start button was pressed and released and then you know when a start button is again pressed and release this M0.2 gets through and when M0.2 gets through this M0.4 gets through for 30 seconds and which in turn will open the curtains for 30 seconds and after 30 seconds it got closed. It was all about this example. Thank you for watching.